this video, I'm going to show you a really cool website that analyzes the onboarding of the most well-known software out there. I really enjoy using it just to get ideas, inspiration on how great marketing and great product-led growth operates. The name of the website is called growth.design and before it was actually free to use it without any gates, but now they ask for your email to onboard. So let's write it down. What I like about their verification email, and you will see that in a minute, is that they allow you to open Gmail and filter automatically in your mailbox directly via the search option in the sidebar here. So they are searching directly from the team at Gross Design in anywhere newer than one hour. So essentially, thanks to that filter, they highlight directly the email that they have sent you. So you only focus on that one email to click on. We know that a lot of people are putting fake email addresses to get access to XYZ resources. Forcing people to validate their email address by clicking on a link is actually like commonly used. However, gross.design pushed it to the next level by having this kind of filtered view where directly you can focus on only one email instead of started to go through your emails and potentially never coming back to the website itself. So here I've got now access to the entire platform. As you can see, there are like tons of different softwares and what they do is that they will go and analyze the onboarding of the most famous one. So for example, if we go to a.com, here we can use like the arrows to look at the design and they analyze pretty much every single step of the way. So for example, here they started from the very beginning of the homepage itself up to the product. What I like about their analysis is that every time they share about something, they also link it to a story or to links that you can go and digging even more about a specific topic. For example, here you could go on this post from Harry Dry, who just basically created a video about hey. What I also love is all the tips that they are giving you along the way. They do not just analyze like an onboarding of a SaaS, but they also give you tips that you can apply to your own business or software. Here for hey, they are giving even more tips such as copywriting tips in order for you to understand why it works and also why you should do it. They break down the process and show you why it's simple and why it's easy to use whenever you join hey.com. And again, every time they see something that is tied to a psychological effect, they would teach you about it in a fun and clear way. For example, here, Hey is splitting the process of creation of an account in very simple steps, which leads in general to a much higher completion rate of the onboarding process. What I also love about Gross Design, and it's not to make the apology of one product or to just like go and sell a product, it's really about analyzing what works and what doesn't. So for example, here, when Hey is asking for another email address for a backup, whatever, it's clearly a lie. And what I love about it is that it shows Showcasing it directly on the screen. And as you can see on the sidebar, it will remove five points from the grade that they are getting. Again, here, whenever there are like tons of frustration in the process, it will be outlined and explain exactly why these steps are frustrating for the end users, which is basically a great way for you to show the steps that you should avoid at all costs when building your onboarding for your software. And that's not it. Not only do they just show what's wrong, they also show you how you could improve it to make it even better. So the team basically worked at Gross Design to create the best experience possible for the user and hence showing you how to do it best. Having people tell you that something is wrong is obviously great, but it's even better if they can show you how to do it right. And that's exactly what Gross Design is doing with their platform. Again, as we can see here on the process, it was very great at the beginning for Hey, but very quickly it became redundant. A lot of things could have been improved and the team at Gross Design actually show you each step that could be removed or that is frustrating for the end user. Again, along the way, they are giving what they call UX Pro Tip. And here it's super interesting because it's part of how quickly does it take for a software to focus on the aha moment, meaning the moment where the person is perceiving the most value of the software. The tips from the Gross Design team is to really focus to have that as soon as possible in the onboarding. And here, as we can see, it took hey maybe 20 or 30 screens to get to that point. I'm not sure if you were familiar or not with Gross Design, but if you were, I'd love for you to let me know in the comments what was the case studies that you enjoyed the most or took the most value from. See you soon.